Rangers 1, Tottenham 2 and has Gio found his team for the trip to the Tony Macaroni Stadium next week on July 30th or something like that but let's make no mistake about this, I thought this was just comical defending for both goals if we're being perfectly honest between Goldson for the first one, I feel like he just sits off him for what seems like an eternity and then the second goal Barisic is just nowhere near Kane, and I get it. Harry, I mean that's. I mean, if you're taking on a team in this like Livingston, for example, they're not going to have Harry Kane up front. They're going to have some other jobber, so you can't really look too much into it from that perspective, right? But at the same time, it's like lots of concentration like that that have cost us in big games. You know, it's alright if Livingston score one because we can score four. But see against Frankfurt. I mean, we were one 0 up, and Goldson fucked up again. Goldson, apart from this mistake, I mean, he, he gave the ball quite away quite a few times. So Al McGregor and Nets, it would be in truthful. But, you know, Kolak gets a goal. People were burying Kolak against West Ham. Well, he got a goal here. And I thought Rangers were actually the much better team up until uh, we scored. And then we kind of just sat back. And then into the second half, Tottenham, they made... Subs, they brought on Basuma and Lucas Moura. They kind of changed the game. Kane, like I said, both goals were avoidable. This should have just been 1-0 Rangers. I mean, Hart, I mean, of course Tottenham had chances to score, but so did we. I mean, James Sands got brought on for a sitter. He missed an absolute sitter. They brought on... Um, I mean, look who Tottenham were bringing on. Lucas Moura, Basuma, Richarlison, Perisic, Rodon, who he was injured, Fraser Forster, Spence, Brian Gill, Saar, Taganga, Langlet. I mean, I think the whole gimmick is they brought Fraser Froster on just for the cool action scene. I mean, we only made three substitutions. I get it, Gio's trying to get his team for uh, next Saturday in here. But at the same time, it's like, you could have just made more subs, mate. I mean, that doesn't help when the team you're playing is making 11 wholesale changes and we're sitting here with our three. You know, I mean, Tillman, he, he did a couple of alright passes, but the majority of them were he was underselling who he was passing to, so they weren't particularly great. Um, Sands, like I say, missed that great opportunity. Tav got man of the match. Lawrence, don't think, was that good in this game. He gave away a couple of fouls, but Scott Wright didn't do much either. Um, Barisic was shocking for that second goal. and It's like, the defensive frailties are still there. You know? And uh, we need to just iron them out. And Goldson, I said this after the Europa League final, the guy is a bomb scare at the back. It's like, not what he did here against Kane was particularly awful, but he just sat off him and sat off him and sat and then let him turn in, cut in and finesse it. You can't be doing that. You know, you can't be, you can't let Harry Kane do that. Harry Kane's one of the best strikers in the world. You know, you, would you let Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski do that? No. So why are you letting Harry Kane? Well, actually, Goldson probably would. He let the whole Frankfurt front three get in between him and fucking Bassey in the Europa League final so what would be stopping him from doing it here but anyway I'll do it for this review Rangers 1 uh, Tottenham 2 and again the diving Kulaski and Barisin also Richarlison I mean why are they diving like it was almost like Spurs were playing this because you get a trophy at the end of it and they're that desperate for a trophy that's, that's exactly what they were doing it was beyond pathetic Richarlison's always been known for that. Didn't really know Kulovsky was known for that, but ah well. But anyway, that is the last match review here before the season starts. We're going to do season predictions soon enough where I predict the league in Europe and shit. Also, check out Fog Football for our stuff. But until next time, peace.